All right, what's going on, guys? It's Chad. We're back here on some more Modern Warfare 3. We're getting really close to being able to uh, finish this whole camo grind. I think we have, like, maybe 10 weapons or so left around that. I ended up unlocking all of the Gilded Challenges for these three LMGs. Now I'm working on the Bruin, and the thing that I was doing yesterday, I was basically leveling it up through zombies, and then I would go into multiplayer and just do the challenges, bang them out real quick, because my skill base was absolutely off the chart. We got an update today that actually ended up changing the movement over on the game. Check this out. Gameplay movement so this was the thing that i was talking about how there was like this weird i couldn't tell if it was intentional or not or whatever but apparently it is decrease attack sprint refresh delay after sliding by 75 percent this is big 75 percent sounds like a lot i don't know what that looks like in practice overall okay let's keep reading decrease attack sprint refresh time to match the infantry vest and running sneakers so what is the point of the infantry vest now i guess duration right but the refresh time is all the same so technically this is an infantry vest and running sneaker nerf because now the baseline of everything has been brought up it decreases the value of this overall which isn't the worst thing i think the game overall needed a little bit more decrease sprint delay after sliding by 53 percent. so there's a sprint delay and then there's a tax sprint at launch we introduced a delay after sliding into the tax sprint refresh time don't know why a review prompted by player feedback determined that the previous delay was too aggressive i agree today's updates aim to improve the movement fluidity without making slide and tax sprint repetition the only viable choice for players i see that i see what they're trying to do they don't want to go all the way because it really is the best way to get around the map especially when it's like you know at its peak this is great this is going to feel great overall for multiplayer and stuff but at the moment i'm still doing the camel grinding and everything and obviously this will be a part of it i'm going to feel the tax sprint and stuff but i'm still leveling some weapons so I'm still dipping into zombies here and there. A, a lot of the weapons I did level through multiplayer back when I had double XP, I wasn't using zombies a whole lot, but now I'm doing zombies. And well, I, I might not be doing zombies much longer and the zombies grind might just have gotten much, much harder. I don't know how much harder, but it's not looking good. Look, so everybody knows that the strategy in uh, zombies was to just basically spawn in, get some stuff, maybe pack a punch your weapon and go to an exfil thing and just basically spam the exfil the entire time until the game is over. It would spawn a bunch of zombies as the exfil refresh. You would kill all those zombies. You would actually start the exfil, kill all the zombies during the exfil thing, clear them all out. Everything goes quiet for about a minute and then everything restarts and it repeats. Well, it looks like they don't want us to do that. They want us to suffer. I, I don't know. This this was super fun like one of the main things in zombies was the fact that i'm going to be fighting actual hordes of zombies not just like 20 something zombie spawn limit what was really fun was the fact that literally 75 to like 100 zombies could straight up spawn around you chase you and you could kill them all i don't know why they don't want us to do that but let's read the cooldown for exfil activation has been increased to two minutes so previously this exfil cooldown once you were done with the whole exfil thing you didn't get it you had to wait about one minute in between each exfil now they increased it they doubled it it is now two minutes so this is already going to cut into efficiency of everything but let's keep reading it was an exploit that permitted duplication of players well I, I wasn't using any duplication or anything like that or using the sentry guns and shit like that people were saying that the sentry guns were the things that were crashing the game but i think it's a combination of stuff let's look right here stability reduce the number of zombies that spawn at exfil locations to improve stability not only did they need to double the amount of time that it took for exfils but now there's just less zombies in general that are going to spawn whenever i'm Filling. I'm gonna go and run a game and see how bad it actually is. There's no way that it's that bad. I would on average, like with no double XP, get, I don't know, five to eight levels or so. so let's go with our Bruin. Let's spawn in and let's just go to an exfil off rip hopefully we'll have an exfil that's like maybe close to a pack a punch or something although we do have a lot more time in between the exfils to go and explore other things i guess which is ultimately i feel like the thing that they want to do but also i just feel like this is a way to you know slow people's zombies grinds down because they've been seeing people that are just straight no lifing the thing i'm not even saying that shit as an insult i mean that's commitment it's not easy to do the challenges are easy but the commitment is not easy a lot of people lack that shit this is absolutely going to slow people's uh zombies grinds down now i I saw that multiple people have unlocked the multiplayer mastery they're stellar and they have unlocked the modern warfare 3 zombies mastery borealis the last one is bioluminescent all of those guys that i've been seeing reed boy j god lego all those guys they're gonna have to actually do bioluminescent without this whole strategy now by the time i'm done with my multiplayer thing i'll be able to see what they're doing in zombies next to you know get through that grind because really sucks that i ran out of double xp too if i had double xp i would have been done with this a long time ago i'm just gonna go in these buildings and then just uh, i'm not even gonna run a contract right now usually i would run straight to a contract that's even kind of 
like near me. So they're saying the amount of zombies were the things that caused servers to crash. Uh, here's the thing. I have never crashed in zombies. I've never crashed in zombies. I've been seeing some people make videos and talk about how uh, there's weird stability and crashing and lag spike issues over on PC. I haven't experienced a single thing of that the entire time I played the game. Not in beta, not in the game itself, nothing. I have never experienced any weird crashing or like weird scoreboard spam lag or anything like that. No problem at all. I've had no. Given I got like, you know, a top of the line system, maybe it happens with some other, you know, parts or something, but I got a 13900K with a 4090 and it's been completely fine. No problem at all. All right, X-Fills are active. I'm gonna make my way over to this uh, vehicle over here and then just drive all the way to this X-Fill 800 meters away and just see how, uh, how many levels we can get. See if this uh strategy is still the way to do it because i have no idea how to get xp otherwise in this shit sure yeah i can run around complete contracts maybe some of them will spawn a good amount of things like the escort and stuff like that spawns a decent amount of zombies but nowhere near the exfil levels so luckily the challenges themselves don't require thousands of kills well for the camo grind for the ultra mastery grind it absolutely will which is absolutely terrible now the first few exfils don't really have that much i'd say like after the first three or so oh, this is gonna be boring as fuck i had so much praise for this shit too i can't believe they did that. All right, let's call the exfil there's not gonna be a lot here initially all right we'll hop in here so we don't waste time just to start the other exfil quicker all right so they're taking off around the 40 minute mark so we won't get another one until like the 38 minute mark apparently usually i would literally just stand here i wouldn't even bother like looking at a lot of other stuff around here and this location is kind of whatever but we got nothing better to do so i'm really curious about the amount of them if i can still get like a thousand of them like say i could get like 1500 to 2000 before zombies kills i remember always getting like 1600 1700 before I would extract sometimes and I would extract with like 10 minutes left sometimes for whatever reason if I could get at least like a thousand twelve hundred we'll see this should pop in a second okay it's at the 38 minute mark when does it actually count as being done with the exfil when the chopper is completely disappeared off the map is that when the timer starts Oh, there it is. Okay, felt like it took a long time. Uh, and it looks like no zombies spawned with uh, this exfil. So I'm gonna hope that they didn't get rid of that extra wave that would spawn before. There would be a wave that would spawn whenever this respawns. Not reactivates, but just respawns to be able to be activatable. This is definitely gonna make the exfils not nearly as cool. Not nearly as intense or like, uh, there's really not many. Okay, let's try to take a time whenever this thing like disappears or something. When is this chopper gonna disappear? It just disappeared right now. Around 35.50. So it should spawn around 33.50. Is there nothing over here? Like, I haven't seen a zombie for... What the fuck? Okay. The player on their way over here. I mean, I don't know what you're coming over here for. These... Level 9. I got one level and it's been like... Oh, no. And now because this other guy's here, it's making this slower. I don't want the schematic. I'm good, man. I don't want it, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, not only did they nerf this shit, but it, um, they're making me socialize. I don't want to, man. Yeah, there's no extra zombies that are spawning with the exfil thing beforehand. Major fucking nerf. I don't know why you guys would do this. I'm sorry. It's just terrible. I'm gonna hope that we can find like another strategy or something. Like, I'm not saying I want an exploit. I just want a way to simply and without stress farm a fuck ton of zombies. I don't care about anything else. Like, please, man. I don't know why you would do this. My shit never crashed. No matter the amount of zombies or whatever, my shit never crashed. Look at this. Is, this is the reward I get? This is like the third or fourth one. What the fuck? This is it? Like, I didn't want to go and take that guy's schematic. Not because I already have one. One, but because if I take it from him, it, it's an invite to party or some shit like that. If we do party, I'm gonna get even less XP. If I don't party, but I still take the schematic, I'm gonna feel like a dickhead. And this thing has just been sitting here wasting fucking time. Is it going anywhere or not? It's just hovering in place. Is this shit broken? Now multiple people are walking up to me. Awesome, great. This fucking mode. This shit's actually bugged. I, I don't know what's going on, but like the chopper is just stuck here. If it doesn't despawn, is it ever gonna actually work? Something's wrong. I've never seen this before. The chopper has just been stuck here. This entire time. I think this x is broken. So not only did they nerf the x fills but then they also... There's new bugs that they introduced by doing this stupid shit. Yeah, just call it now because there's no extra zombie spawning. There's no point in rounding them up because you can't do trains on this shit anymore. There's no fucking zombie. Oh, I hope they're x filling. Yeah, they're leaving. Enjoy, guys. Go to multiplayer or something that's actually worth your fucking time. I was expecting, you know, okay, yeah, there was a reduction in the amount of zombies. Fine. I didn't think that they would literally cut. There's fucking none of them. They're nowhere. It's over. Like, all those clips of people running around with, like, uh, fucking 80 zombies chasing them and just getting that great dopamine rush of you blowing them all up with the energy mine and all that shit it's gone it's over it's fucking ruined i don't think this stability was bad enough to warrant this drastic of a change increase them now actually increase the amount of zombies decrease the amount of players actually i'm not even joking you know what would make less zombie spawn 
less players reduce the lobby count from like 24 down to like 16 or some shit 12 so less zombies are spawning on the map around players revert 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 all right now since no one's here to actually interrupt me call the x fill in let's see how many zombies spawn this is like i don't know my fifth or sixth x fill and this is all i've got this is all i've got to show for it two four six eight to ten zombies amazing cool i got a camo Wow, so rewarding. Amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait off on, on doing any of this shit. I'm going back into strictly multiplayer until uh, I see whatever all the other guys are doing for uh, their camo strats and XP strats and shit like that. People were exploiting and shit and finding a whole bunch of different things with like the sentry guns and shit. I understand beating that, but this whole fill thing is not an exploit. I don't know why you would hit the legitimate way to actually farm things. I swear the helo gets here way faster too. Like they just make exfills like not even a challenge anymore. You just can leave. At least the amount of zombies that they spawned before, there was some kind of like challenge and risk to taking the exfill out because you know you have to sit around and defend a shit ton of zombies while it's coming in now it's like nothing it's nothing a couple more spawned here maybe like 10 or 15 zombies what a crazy zombie apocalypse we went from sprinting hordes of zombies like 28 days later 28 weeks later to fucking walking dead holy shit and now this other guy is coming over here don't fucking look at me man good movement change though generally speaking good movement change but you guys fucked on zombies i was thinking it can't be that bad wow it is even worse than i was imagining i was thinking you know oh we could get maybe back to like those numbers towards the end of the game maybe but no it actually makes sense that they wouldn't want to increase it towards the end of the game because they don't want people to crash even closer to full-blown exfil time nothing is worse than going through this whole thing and then crashing i don't know what you're doing the countdown for no one's fucking scared anymore all right one two three four five six this guy has a few. He's shooting my zombies. I mean, a few zombies spawn, I guess. That absolutely fucking sucked. That wasn't fun at all. I genuinely got chills down my spine about, like, how fucking bad this is. It, it, I felt the energy leaving my body. How fucking terrible this change is. Successful exfil. Let's see how many total zombies kills we got there. Just spending an entire 40 fucking minutes at the exfil. Let's see. How many zombies did we get? Not even 500. I'm done. Dead. GG.